A group of former Narden Academy students are leading the charge when it comes to change. They posted this petition online last week demanding action against racism within the school. Well, seven demands, seven days, and thousands of signatures later, change is happening. And as 7 Eyewitness News reporter Taylor Epps explains tonight, school leaders are working with students now on a plan of action. It started with a few students. It's a structural change that needs to happen. The culture at Narden is um, poisonous. I've been looked at strangely by some of my peers because of my certain practices and my culture. Then quickly turned into a movement of nearly 10,000. Both current and former students of Narden Academy in Buffalo are now calling on the administration to make some fundamental changes. They weren't being actively um, anti-racist and keeping students of color safe and protected. So we basically started this petition to address those things. They launched a website called Oppress at Narden, where students can anonymously share their stories. And it's really uncomfortable when I see some students of color really be used simply as advertisement pieces. My class had 112 girls and only five of them were black. The petition lists several demands, including greater diversity among faculty, changes to the school's diversity statement, and an office of diversity and inclusion. They're not doing anything actively to make these changes. They're just releasing their statements and saying, we need to do better. Norton's president, Marsha Sullivan, says they're currently making changes to school policies. Alums and students have helped us see some cracks, if you will, in our culture and um, through cracks, we have seen tremendous light. We have already addressed policy. We started with policy that have to do with the uh, discipline code. We just need Narden to be more transparent. We need you guys to meet something by the time like the school year starts so we know that you guys are actually making an effort. We want this to be a catalyst for change in other schools because we know that we're not in alone in what we experience even though we feel alone when it's happening. We, we fully are committed to moving forward. In Buffalo, Taylor Epps, 7 Eyewitness News.